molting season continues. Well, I don't think you can see it way back in the back, but my uh, one of my uh, young Triniochilus murinus is molted, the OBT. So that is awesome. I knew one was about to happen. Uh, you could just tell uh, the abdomen was getting uh, plump and swollen, and lo and behold, here we go. All right, just another molt. That's awesome. Can't see the actual spider right now, uh, but the other uh, baby OBT molted. And they, uh, just like my uh, pumpkin patches, seem to uh, follow each other pretty quick with their molts. So, awesome. You know, when your Acanthoscuria doesn't eat, that uh, bolt is probably not too far away. Uh, this is my Acanthoscuria in Subtilis molted. Awesome. Look at that. In plain view. So, yep, hopefully some more molts are coming. Had quite a few already. I figured we'd go ahead and uh, give my freshly molted Boomba Cabocla some food. Well, not freshly. It's been enough time now uh, to where it had hardened up. Let's see if it'll want to eat, though. This one may be its first super worm, I think. Not 100% sure on that. Given it mealworms before. So maybe like, what is that? Oh yeah. I figure it's a good size now where it could eat it. But, uh, yeah, I think it's probably uh, satisfied. Yeah, it would have uh, hardened up by now. All right, very good. My fat frog is in his uh, swimming pool taking a soak. Probably trying to uh, stimulate a poop. They use their uh, swimming pool as a toilet too. Right? <laughs> how big that frog's getting. Alright. I don't see this one in its t uh, pool very often. Usually is in there at night. Cool. My uh, Uaphilus species green is doing some work in the enclosure started to move in that big mound of dirt and of course now that I got the camera on it's not moving much there's my other therapist a stermy probably gonna mail that one off pretty soon I'm gonna have a cool down Look at those fangs. Man. Isn't that cute when they do that? Decided it was time to do some interior decorating. large march sitting down there. Now, well, hard to see her with the reflection and the glare and all. Ah, just showing you. It was just cute to see that. Well, uh, my uh, smallest 
Grandma Stola Poker Peas is almost completely done with its bolt molting process. It's hard to tell without disturbing it too much whether it is completely out of its molt. I think it is, but I'm a little nervous about uh, taking the molt out quite yet. but just wanted to show you what it looks like at the moment so uh, we'll check on it again in a little bit here's a better look at my uh, frog taking a soak matches that leaf real well doesn't it <laughs> that's really cute had to take a picture too while I was here <laughs> I'm beginning to think it's going to be a female as big around as it's getting. <laughs> so we'll see. Alright guys. Uh, this is the molt of the uh, Grandma Stola Poker Peas that uh, uh, just molted. And uh, there's no flap here. So it is indeed a male which is okay with me. I already have several Grandma Stola Poker Peas. Uh, so, no huge loss for me. I will, uh, when his time comes, will likely send him off to uh, breed with the person who has the uh, time and, and all that to breed. Very cool. And yet, we have another malt. This is my Selena Cosmia Obscura. I knew this one was coming. And there we go. Finally really getting some molts, I tell ya. Well, I'm going to see if I can get that molt out. Uh, who knows, it's probably, I probably can't even sex it, but we'll, it looks like it's all crumpled up, but we'll try. Alright. And we have another molt. My Kilo Brachys Discalus. Part of the carapace came off there. There's the molt, and then there's the spider. Let's see if I can move this webbing here. We can see it a little bit better. There we go. Looking great. I tell you, we are going through some major molting. <laughs> awesome. All right. I knew this one was coming. <laughs> 